Hi, do you have multiple echoes and you'd like to use them as an intercom or a single echo and you'd like to use your iPhone to your echo as an intercom? In this video, I will show you how to set up Amazon drop-in, which is a feature that acts like an intercom that can be used inside or outside of your house. But first, I wanna say hi, my name is Craig and this is my Tech Talk channel. I love learning about stuff like this and sharing it with you. Uh, so if you have any comments or questions, please uh, put them down below or tweet me at Craig Paulson. Also, check out the description. There's links in there for more information and anything I might have missed. So now let's get started. This is my second uh, video out of my 52-week challenge to look into features and functions of the Echo. Uh, so for this one, we are going to talk about a uh, drop-in and how to utilize it as an intercom within your house. So we're gonna go through the setup. I did change the name of my Echo 2 computer. That way I don't trigger anyone else's at home if you use the A word for your device. Okay, what I've done is I reinstalled the app on my phone. I logged in as if it's just, as if I just installed the app for the first time on my phone. I logged into my Prime account, and this is the screen it brought me to. This is where they show you about calling and messaging and starting the process. So I will get started, uh, help Alexa get to know you. I am Craig Paulson, uh, since I already set up these devices. Contacts, allow Alexa to periodically upload your contacts to the Amazon service, which helps you call, message, and connect with your friends and family and also allow notifications. Let's hit okay. We'll give them permission for my contacts and to send me notification. Okay, now I'm set up, that's it. Now from there, I can go to the little, little chat bubble thing and that's going to bring up my conversations and it'll tell me the things that I can try to do to directly with the Echo or I can choose to drop in and this is how I would actually pick which device I want to drop in on. You can also talk to, you could select your contacts. People that show up in your contact list are people who also have the Alexa app. So you can give them permission to drop in. Uh, you could also use it family members and such. You can give them permission to drop in. Uh, one last thing to check, if we go under our settings, we can go to our settings. You do want to confirm, I am actually using my bedroom echo right here. My bedroom echo. I do want to scroll through and I do want to confirm that drop-in is on. It is on. So uh, right now it's on for anybody we give permission, but in here you could change it to only my household or you can turn it off on a particular echo. So if you have one in the bedroom, you don't want it on, whatever, you can do that. So those are your drop-in settings, relatively easy. Okay, now that we have everything set up, this is how you would make a drop-in call and use it like an intercom. Computer, drop in on the kitchen echo. Hello? Hi, Daddy. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good. Well, I got to finish making my video. I just wanted to show how this works. I'm going to hang up. Computer, hang up. And that's how that works. Now to initiate a drop-in call from the app, you would open up the Alexa app, you would go to the little bubble, the conversation looking bubble, and then you pick drop-in. And I would choose to drop in on the kitchen echo. Hello? Hi. Hey, am I bugging you? You still doing good? Yeah. Okay, cool. I just want to show that this works. I'm connected to Kitchen Echo. Okay, go back to whatever you're doing. Thank you. That's it. You can drop in on there. Uh, that way you get Kitchen Echo. If you've been given permission to drop in on other people's Echoes, you could do that. So if you do have a family member that has an Echo, uh, you can contact them that way by dropping in. Uh, we haven't allowed anyone access to our Echoes, but it is an option to do that. So that is how you set up and use uh, 
use the drop-in feature as an intercom. It is a nice feature. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below or tweet me at Craig Paulson. Uh, also, check out the links uh, for any additional information that you may need. Thank you for watching and click the subscribe button and check out future videos. I have at least 50 more of these Echo uh, videos to make because it's my challenge for this year. And right now I'm actually cutting it down to the wire for this one. So that's why we're doing a short one this time. But uh, next week we'll pick something longer. If you have any suggestions, tweet me those too. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.